Hi everybody, Dr. Zach here. I know it's been a while. I've uh, purposely been staying away from, especially social media, just to quiet myself from all the noise that's been going on. But uh, there's a message that has to come out. So whenever it needs to be, I'm gonna continue to speak up and uh, let my voice be heard. Um, the reason this is critical is that, um, you know, I just actually got my website republished. I, I unpublished it for several months. Back in June, the Chiropractic Board of Colorado they said that there was stuff on my website that, that implied that I was a licensed chiropractor, practicing chiropractic to the public, um, both of which are untrue. I'm not licensed. I don't, pra I don't provide any care at all to the public at this point. So I unpublished my website. I just republished it, and so I eliminated anything that they would perceive as being misleading to the public. Um, but I also included on there, just for transparency's sake, all of the documents from the Boulder County hearing that I had um, for, for not forcing people in my office to wear masks and the issues that came about from the Colorado Chiropractic Board um, and me taking, having my license taken um, because I didn't comply with the COVID thing. So I just wanted to get that out there so everybody could see it and, and really kind of be reminded now that we're on the other side of COVID, you know, we're kind of on the other side of the hump and we're looking back and kind of going, yeah, that was pretty stupid. We, we, we got duped by a lot of stuff that's going on. I, I wanted people to be able to see that and, and to see the price we paid um, for those of us who chose not to to comply, those who actually chose to defy all the nonsense that's gone on. Because guess what? World Health Organization, this is an article that came out November 26th, that's today. Uh, World Health Organization calls for masking, physical distance, distancing over mystery illness. Goes on to say this illness confirms predictions that the next pandemic would target children. So we got the World Health Organization um, telling people in China, hey, you need to put the masks back on, you need to social distance, you need to take and hide because we got this new mysterious undiagnosed pneumonia that's primarily affecting kids. Wow, imagine that because COVID was an utter failure because it didn't target kids and it didn't instill enough fear. It just really kind of took out the people that were already dealing with lots and lots and lots of health issues. So guess what, we got this new one that's gonna target the kids. And so the World Health Organization is intervening already, taking some steps to make sure that this happens. But they're also being joined by Professor Dom Jenny Harries. Um, and this is the, from the United Kingdom Health Security Agency. And uh, she goes on to say that, hey, they're working on following all the information that's going on so they can make the best predictions. But she's also in the process right now of, of taking and developing a vaccine for the next pandemic which she, she said would be caused by climate change. So we've been hearing about this and I just wanted to let you know that, you know, rest easy, don't get too nervous or scared because we've got the medical experts that are out there working on a jab so that we don't get climate change. There you go. This is science, people. Um, it goes on to say scientists in the British High Security Laboratory have been developing vaccines for a new pandemic involving disease X. And we've heard about disease X a little bit, but we've actually just kind of heard the name. We haven't heard too much about it specifically. So I go to the trusty source that tells us everything and we know it's accurate, Wikipedia. And it says disease X is a placeholder name that was adopted by the World Health Organization. So it's legit in February of 2018 on their short list of blueprint priority diseases to represent a hypothetical unknown pathogen that could cause a future epidemic. What does that mean? That means that it's something that's made up that doesn't exist yet, but we're supposed to be afraid of because they're working on it and they're trying to come up with it so that it'll be deadly and it'll target our kids, just like Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has said. They actually hosted a pandemic simulation exercise in October of 2022 that they called catastrophic contagion. And they hosted um, people from uh, Senegal, Rwanda, Nigeria, Angola, Liberia, Singapore, India, and Germany. And they basically said, hey, we've got this future pandemic that isn't real, but we're gonna pretend like it is so that we can you know, figure out how we're supposed to deal with it in case it does become real because it might happen to become real if we get enough people working on it to make it real. And, uh, but they said, you know, unlike the COVID-19, which really didn't threaten children with their health because children were not compromised enough to be affected by COVID-19, they're working on this other one that's actually gonna be far more brutal, it says. In fact, according to, to Gates, he said that uh, the new pandemic is afoot, which may be man-made and far more brutal. Imagine that, somebody that is a, a health expert like him, but he does have his hands in the governments uh, of th these countries that are doing these things, so he might know something that we need to know. Bottom line is, is that guess what? Masks didn't work then, they're not gonna work now. 
But what does work is your immune system. What works is this innate God-breathed wisdom that your body carries with it. And when we honor that by not succumbing to fear, living from a place of peace, which is where our immune system can really thrive, actually getting close to each other, getting some exposure of one another, actually taking and let our immune systems develop some strength that way. Getting to the gym, we're getting outside, getting some fresh air, getting some movement, that's what our bodies are made to do. Good, healthy, clean food. Focus on that. Don't, don't try to take and get rid of all of the real food so that we can get fake lab food. Give yourself real food that's gonna fuel your body and you'll be strong and healthy with that. So with that said, my voice is back. It's important that we take and we eliminate all of the other noise that is there just to create fear and chaos and come back to this simple truth. God has given us this, main, this innate, amazing immune system and we don't have to live in fear. And that when we aren't in fear, we can have the confidence to make today count. So with that said, God bless you guys. Make today a great one.